Okay, this week's INMPI is brought to you by DigiKey, of course, but uh, we're going to be talking about some 3D printers from Creality. That's right. This is a big deal. Let me talk about why this is a big deal first. Okay. It's really cool that DigiKey, that they're doing so much stuff intertwined and part of the maker communities. Um, so they're part of the, the Silicon um, Comic Con thing with Adam Savage, mm-hmm. the the Savage Makerverse. Mm-hmm. They've been part of Maker Fairs, mm-hmm. and one of the things you know there was uh, 3D printing, but you really couldn't get them all. You couldn't get everything in one spot. Like we don't have 3D printers at Adafruit. We don't. We sell don't them. stock them anymore now. And you know it was hard to recommend where people could go and have like a really good shipping and shopping experience. Yeah. And we noticed that DigiKey now has 3D printers. And so we happen to have one of these. We have one from Creality. So um, you could tell we like it because uh, we already had one. Yeah, you happen to get one. And coincidentally, before this, uh, we had it a couple months ago. So we actually had experience. um, That's why we didn't bring it in because it's already set up and everything. Yeah, it's gigantic. Um, it's big, but we basically got one of, um, this is the S1 Pro. Now, there's this is the newest one that DigiKey is stocking, uh, the Ender S1 uh, Hot Hot Pro, I think. Um, but they have actually a couple of other popular ones, a couple different Enders, and also the CR10, uh, which I know a lot of people love. Uh, and the reason I think this is useful is, um, you know, just because we've, we've seen make 3D printers from rep wraps and cupcakes um, up till now, like this this long, journey um you know one of the things that 3d printers have always been great for electrical engineers is uh, enclosure design um so for example here's a uh, design that known pedro put together or jp put together for one of our previous projects um using a dev board uh, the feather esp32 s2 tft and you know we wanted to make a nice little case for it and this is a 3d printed case you can tell by the little texture takes like 30 minutes to print and um you know we don't sell the individual case but also you maybe want to customize it uh different colors maybe make it bigger or wider whatever um it's a very easy 3d print so it's great for engineers for prototyping and design um, for making jigs etc so this is why it's a, a useful ee tool um you know we also do a lot of projects here's a project that melissa did uh, she did like a cat detector and she wanted to just basically bolt a servo to a thing and so um, you know, made a little 3D printed piece that we got uploaded um, to GitHub. You can see the STL here. Um, <coughs> you know, so it's common, even if you're just putting together some pieces to prototype or design something as an engineer, um, the moment you have circuit boards, motors, plastic pieces, buttons, um, 3D printing is that glue that will hold it together. Yeah, I think one of the things that we realize is like 3D printers are cool and everything, but they're kind of like the ultimate enclosure maker to get your electronics to kind of all do stuff together. And, and that's what, how we've been using them because if you're just printing out shapes and stuff, that's cool, it's fun. But the electronics that go inside them and all the things that you can do really rounds out, I think your, you know, if, if making is your hobby, this is this is one, one great way to do it. Yeah, so this is like a site, um, Thingiverse, which is very popular. There's a lot of 3D printing sharing sites. Um, but this one has, you know, up, we have almost 500 different designs. Um, over the years, every time we do a design or a project, we upload it. So you can download these and then, of course, uh, buy components from DigiKey and, you know, make finished projects, products. Um, so there's a couple different uh, categories of products available. Now, this is one page. So there's two. I just want to show that they have the, the CR series as well, as well as the Ender series available from DigiKey for immediate shipment. And what's nice is they're actually stocked too. So they yeah. will ship from DigiKey's US warehouse. Uh, so there's no like weird import fees and there's no or like- no drop shipping. So that was one of the things that, that we were reluctant to say like, oh, here's where you can get a 3D printer because you'd order it online, but it turns out it would always come for some somewhere else mm. where DigiKey, they have gigantic football field size warehouses and they have them there. Yeah. So if it says it's in stock, it really means it. And so I think that's important. Oh, Harvey. All right. Uh, okay. So next up, um, there, I will say that there's a lot of printers and I, at first, you know, I was like, I don't know what is the S, what is the Ender 3 S1 Pro? Um, but this is a nice diagram. So the one we're, we're talking about today is the one in the middle. Basically, you know, the, the higher the temperature you can get, the bigger the build volume, the more you're going to pay. Um, you know, the actual software is almost exactly the same. 
Um, there might be slightly higher quality components and extruders and hot ends, but mostly you're paying for um, you know, motor speed, build volume, and um, how hot and how fast do your temperature can rise on um, the build plate and uh, the extruder. So that, that kind of basically means it's like, you know, are, are you going to printing, are you printing a lot and big things? You'll spend more if you're printing rarely and it's small stuff, just get the smaller printer and, and it's fine. Um, all right, so this is the one, this is specifically the one that just got added to uh, DigiKey stock. So um, it's, I think, really similar to the one uh, you got. Um, yeah, the auto leveling, auto leveling is nice. The auto leveling is great. Yep. We, we, you know, got it set up very quickly. Yeah, it's kind of set it and forget it. Um, we put it together very quickly, too. It comes in pieces, but, you know, it comes in like a flat pack. <laughs> Um, but you know, I, you and I were able to put it together in about an hour or two following yeah, instructions. Even. It's easier than Ikea furniture. Um, it can do a wide variety of materials because it's got up to 300 degrees C heating. So you can do, you know, a lot of people like uh, PLA because it's the easiest, but you know, once in a while people want PETG or yeah. ABS, TPU, you know, flexible materials. Heated bed, auto wooden, leveling, removal plate. Yeah, Mr. Uh, all the stuff. Certainly said the same things I was about to. Yeah, the, the plate is great. Um, it's, you know, you can pop off parts. Uh, Multi-point leveling. There's also, you know, manual leveling as well. That you can get it kind of close. And then the auto level um, takes care of a lot of the most frustrating parts about 3D printing um, for you. Uh, okay, next up, uh, I wanted to also mention, don't forget, there's also filaments available. Um, you know, I just look, went to the 3D filaments and searched for what's in stock, and they have a thousand and one, literally a thousand and one different filaments that you can purchase from DigiKey. Different materials, different um, colors, uh, different thicknesses and densities, operating temperatures. So, you know, go to town. Um, I think here's, you know, just showing a, a couple of the options. They have the 1.75, the 3 millimeter uh, different weights so you know if you don't need so much you can get uh, one pound or you can go up to 10 pounds um, they also have uh, you know liquid um, it's not quite filament it would be um, uh, resin it's in a different category but in case you you want resins they have that as well um, and of course every every kind of color you could want um, next up you're like okay cool I got a 3d printer I got my filament I got my printer together now what um, well, for a lot of the products that we make and sell through DigiKey, you can uh, get CAD parts from the Adafruit CAD parts directory on GitHub. Um, Don and Pedro have been filling this up for, um, you know, every time they do a project, they'll model one years. or two parts. For years, they've been adding it. Um, people have also submitted uh, projects. Thanks for everybody who submitted uh, models, um, you know, and also corrected any mistakes. But basically, um, you can import these into your CAD program. So not just our boards, uh, but so our extrusion, the laser diodes we sell, the backpack, and this goes on. I mean, this just shows one page, but this scrolls forever. Our LiPo batteries is what they use for when they do uh, their weekly show, 3D Hangouts, because it's not just enough to have a 3D printer, and now you, know, you can download models and um, print them, but maybe you're like, I want to design my own enclosures, my own projects. Well, they have a uh, video every single week for about one hour where they show tips and tricks of how they model and they've you know like we've known known Pedro now for many years the the quality of the work that they've done has in, has multiple fold improved not that they didn't do great work before it was great but they've like they're doing snap fits now and it's yeah. like dynamically adjustable designs and multiple it, pieces it's product it's design really for beginners it's um also their show uh you know, we don't have sponsorship. We just do this show. It's the longest running 3D printing live show on planet Earth. That's, this is it. And one of the reasons we do that is just to show that there's so many things that you can do, you can make, you can use it with electronics. It makes prototyping really easy. It takes all the frustrations out of, I got this electronic project. How am I going to actually make it work? Yeah. Anyways, we were excited to see DigiKey stocking it. It's in stock now. You can get Our an ender. Yeah, you can get an ender. And then... Um, we have a little video from them. We'll, we'll show their like flashy video. They just show, they show it off, um, but uh, you know, also we have a th print. I can yeah, show this is the this first is, print that we made. This is the first print, and I um, one of the things, um, and this is not a, a a a dunk or a ding on anyone. So, three D printers are great. I just didn't want it. I didn't want three D printing to be my hobby. I wanted to use three D printing as a tool for things. I didn't want it to be like, I have a 3D printer and now I'm just gonna like mess around with 3D printers all the time. That's super fun. 
And, and that's, you don't have to do that but anymore. I, but I didn't want that to be my 3D printing. Yeah, like if you have it, like yeah, I've I, done I mean, that before. The cupcake was an amazing, super kit, fun. But it, it was like I don't need that puppy. Yeah, I do. I do like when technology kind of disappears a little bit, where it's like cool. I just like send the file over and I print it. So this, um, I printed this out. This was from my museum scan. So I went to Rubin Art Museum, and um, I scanned in. Um, a sculpture from their uh, Buddhism exhibit, and then I put it through a low poly filter, and then I printed this out in only you know took a couple hours or so, and I did a. Yes, you can see. I mean, this is like with no tuning. This is like we literally turned it on, and we're this like this is my hello world for auto, printing. Auto, we were yeah. like auto level, and then and then this is like a hollow body. But you can see like the quality is great. We didn't no special. This is basically the filament it comes with, um, yeah, the didn't. nozzle it comes with, the settings that were default. Uh, for PLA, and it came out that. great. Yeah. So anyways, I thought that was pretty neat. So we'll, uh, we'll play this video, and then uh, we'll see you on the other side.